So welcome back to another Inventor tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at just creating a 2D drawing and doing some uh, simple dimensioning tricks uh, for that 2D drawing. So let's jump on in and see where we end up. So I've got my part here loaded, I'm just going to use a simple part, that's all you need to do for this uh, part of the assignment. Um, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come over to the, uh, the tabs across the top and I'm going to select File, uh, New and then I'm just going to select Drawing. Uh, it's going to bring us into our normal British Standard template which is already drawn for us. And then I'm going to, uh, as long as we've got the part opened up, if I select base view in the panel at the top left, then it will give me this sort of uh, simple view or this view of the part. Now, I drew mine upside down, so I can actually rotate it round, uh, the right way round. And we will want to do a sort of four view, sort of uh, front profile, side profile, and, uh, and a bottom profile or top profile, depending on which one you want to do. Uh, this is actually very very easy in Inventor. We can either you can actually see that by dragging a box, it, you don't even have to drag it. It just sort of, as you come out to the right hand side, it has this box, so you can just see the sort of green outline, um, which is it's going to give you that side view. Uh, also down, if we drag it, if we move the mouse below it, we'll get the, the bottom view, and then if we do it to the up to the sort of forty five angle, we'll get the ISO view. Um, the other way is you can just click the little grey arrows um, and it will just produce the views for you. Um, and we can see that so we can change the scale if we want. Now in this one the three uh, two-dimensional views are all at the right scale and I'll actually rescale the, the um, isometric view, the sort of three-dimensional view, um, in a minute once I've um, place them all correctly and you can actually just click and drag them and they all move appropriately um, to to make sure they all stay aligned as as per a normal standardized drawing so uh, once I'm happy I'm going to right click and just click OK uh, it sends them into their two-dimensional views and as you can see the 3d view one is a, a still um, it's still to the wrong sort of scale. It's not quite fitting on the drawing. So I'm just going to double click uh, on the on that component, and um, we can see that we get we can just change the scale of this one uh, particular item. So I'll change it to one to two, so it'll be half the size, and then I can just sort of put it in the corner here, um, and then I'll click OK and we're now ready to start uh, thinking about our annotations or our dimensions and it's really really simple in Inventor. Uh, if we come across the tabs and click annotate uh, and then just click the dimension button um, then wherever you uh, see either a green dot or a highlighted red line it will dimension it for you automatically so we'll start with this circle um, and straight away it's given us the diameter, the icon with the diameter um, for diameter and 60 mil. So we'll left click. Um, we can edit the dimensions if we wanted to. I'm just going to click OK. Um, we can do all, we can actually go from um, red line to red line and uh, it will give us the thickness of this component and I'll just left click again and then click OK. Um, if it's radiuses and I'll zoom in for this um, then if I select the corner you can see that it gives me the radius um, and I'll just click OK, place it in and click OK. Um, there is some other good techniques to use so if I wanted to uh, measure all of these different lines there's different elements to them uh, the way just the way that I drew it um, so I'll have sort of one measurement, two measurements, three measurements um, if I go to my baseline 
um, yours will most probably set up with baseline. Uh, use the drop down baseline set. Come across and select all the different lines. Then I'll click right click and continue and uh, it will give me all the different dimensions and they'll all be neatly spaced and uh, evenly spaced and then I can just place them with a left click. Um, so yeah you can just carry on doing just going around creating a series of dimensions. Um, I'm not going to be over critical if it's uh, over dimensioned or under dimensioned for this assignment um, because what you can do is um, it's all just about the process of dimensioning a drawing in Inventor. Um, as with the bill of materials, all you need to do is submit a, you can just literally come over, file, uh, you could print um, and print it as a PDF. Um, so I'll select print and then mine's already set, selected as Microsoft Print PDF. Just go through the normal pro, uh, process of printing PDFs and then upload the uh, PDF uh, along with the other files. So hopefully that's been helpful um, and I hope to see you back here for some more Inventor tutorials.